Hi guys, the Metal Maniac back again, and uh, in this video, I'm going to be doing a review on the uh, live album by Death, uh, Death Vivas. Now, this was their uh, third and final live album. It was released in 1988 during, I guess, the um, uh, um, Sound of Perseverance tour, and um, it's a two-disc set. Um, there's actually, I guess, two different uh, live shows, uh, I guess two different areas, um, the first disc, uh, is, um, live in LA, and the second disc is live in Edenhoven, um, the track listing for each show is pretty much the same, other than, like, there's only two minor differences in each one, um, the first, like, uh, one track listing for one area, for one live show has, like, two, two extra songs, and then one track, and then like, other than that, the track listings are just slightly mixed up a bit. Um, so yeah, um, of course, um, hold on. Of course, Chuck Schuldiner on vocals and guitar, um, Richard Christie on drums, Jen and Ham on guitar, and Scott Keldine on bass. Um, <clears throat> so. Um, so I'm probably only gonna mention the one live show, go through that, and then probably just mention, um, what's, what the other songs that, hmm, yeah, I mean, it's, these both, both these are pretty much the same, like, set list, other than, um, this one having, like, one or two more tracks, um, so it's not... It's not really relevant to mention this one again. It's the same set list as this, although this one has a couple more tracks on it. So I'm just gonna be talking about the main, the main one right up there. So uh, it starts off with uh, the philosopher, which again I don't really like that song to begin with. I don't like the whole album. That that's, I don't like the um, individual thought patterns at all. So <laughs> yeah. Um. And then, oh, but the second song, Spirit Crusher Live. Honestly, even though I really do like this live version, I do prefer the studio version a bit more. Just because, uh, I guess, from all the live versions of the song I've seen, like, all the ones I've seen on YouTube, it, for whatever reason, uh, other than, uh, like, the guitar solo, for whatever reason, is very hard to hear compared to the, compared to the actual riffs. As opposed to the studio studio version, where like you could hear both riffs and the guitar solo very clearly. So, yeah, I mean the live version is pretty good, but I do prefer the studio version. Um, trapped in a corner again from the um album uh, individual thought patterns. Don't like the song and don't like the album. Um, scavenger of human sorrow. Um, it's it's pretty good live. Uh, again, although I prefer the studio version. Um, Crystal Mountain, okay. Here's a song from the band that's great both live and studio version. This is just awesome. Um, <laughs> I, I absolutely love it. I love both the live and studio versions. Um, let's see. Flesh and the Power It Holds. It's a song that I think is extremely, extremely overrated and overall not actually a good song. Um, but yeah. Um, Zero Tolerance, though. I really like this song. I, uh, both the studio and live versions. Um, so yeah, that's pretty good. Ah, uh, Zombie Ritual. The only song from Scream Bloody Gore that death ever played live after they toured the, uh, after they toured for the first album. Um, yeah, very strange, but I'll get more into that as a, like a, some, as a weird side note later on after this initial review, but, um, yeah, Zombie Ritual Live. I don't really enjoy this version or any of the live versions from, like, the 90s. I, I enjoy the live versions from, like, 87 and 88. Um, because, here's the thing, it's a good song, but Chuck does not sing, 
the song in the vocal style he did on the actual album and in the li- and on the, from the live shows from back back in the eighty back in the late eighties. He sings it in his in the style of vocals he does during the Sound of Perseverance album. And those uh, that, even though the st- even though his style of vocals I love on that album. His st- uh, it, those styles, those the high shriek ring wraith shrieks, those that kind of vocals do not work at all with the earlier songs from the first two albums or even the first three albums. They just don't. So I don't know why he did that. It, it just doesn't work well with with this, the actual song. It's pretty bad. Um, but yeah, the song's good, but Chuck's vocals just don't match the song. Um, uh, let's see, Suicide Machine, another song from an album I don't like, again, it's the same, I think it's from, um, Individual Thought Patterns, I don't like that album, and I don't like the song, um, yeah, there is one, is another song I don't like, Empty Words, though, Empty Words, again, another, just like with, uh, um, what was it? Uh, oh yeah, just like with Crystal Mountains, another song that's both fantastic on, in, in the studio version and on the live ver- in the live version. Uh, same thing with the next song, Symbolic. Again, great both live and studio. And then Pull the Plug is pretty good. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna go with this, I'm not gonna talk about the second one because it's pretty much the same thing. Um, I do want to point out that um, there are some pretty uh, um, interesting moments between certain songs where uh, Chuck does uh, talk to the crowd. Um, probably my favorite moment of those is like uh, when he's like, he says something along the lines of, oh, I'm glad that uh, metal is still alive in 1998. Um, metal will never die because we're a bunch, we're a bunch of stubborn bastards. Um, but yeah, interactions with, like, with, the crowd, with the crowd like that is, is always cool on live albums. Um, but yeah, overall, oh wait, so I, I, oh yeah, I was gonna mention, okay, so the thing I was gonna mention earlier that I wanted to mention before I ended this video was, uh, the fact that, again, they, Death only ever played Zombie Ritual Live from, like, the first couple, the first three albums, like, I don't know why, no, no, actually from the first album, yeah, they played a few songs, I guess, uh, um, earlier, in the early to mid-90s of, like, uh, Leprosy, and uh, um, spiritual healing, but again, with the very first album, they only ever played Zombie Ritual Live after I would say '88. Uh, not even '88, '87. '87 is like the only time they played a bunch of the songs from the first album live. Uh, other than that, they just didn't for whatever reason. I don't know. And considering that Evil Dead is a fan favorite song, um, and you would think that then you would think that oh they would play it, but no. They never played Evil Dead live, ever. So, yeah, that's just a weird sort of thing I wanted, wanted to share with you guys, that they never played majority of the songs live after 87. Uh, and, and majority of the songs from the first album, anyway. But, uh, yeah, overall, it's a pretty decent album. Uh, it's not bad, but I think it could have been better. Although, I will say it's the best out of the three live albums, because the other two kind of suck. The mixing's just off. Um, it's just, uh, with both the, both the first and second live albums, those are just really terrible. Um, but with this one, it's it's actually a lot better. Um, so it's, it's not a great live album, but it's pretty it's pretty okay. I mean, uh, I'll say it's pretty good. Um, it, it does have its moments, like really really awesome moments. But there are a lot of songs on the set list that I don't, just don't really care for. And then when they played Zombie Ritual Live, of course, his uh, vocals just didn't match. Like, his style that he, of vocals that he had at that time did not match um, the song really well. But overall, again, it's a pretty, pretty good album. I'm going to give this a 6 out of 10. Um, it could have been a lot better. Um, but it definitely, it's, it definitely st- uh, holds up over time. Um, but yeah, so... That's it for this review, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.